Um, hi guys, thanks for coming back to another video. I appreciate y'all coming back. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, guys, it's not because I haven't tried. I've really been wanting to share a lot of the things that the Lord has been showing me. He's been showing me things. He's been uh, confirming a lot of things that he has given in the past. He has been uh, opening my mind to things. He has led me to certain things to read. And um, and I'm telling you guys, I am, as, as I've gone through since the last time that I've made a video, I have been in shock and awe, complete awe. Um, many times. Um, so I have a lot of information. Um, I put together a video. It was almost an hour long. I probably did that almost, I don't know, 10, 12 days ago. Um, but I wasn't allowed to release it. Once I finished it, I uploaded it. And before I could press publish, um, I was stopped. I was stopped. And so um, I slept on it that night and I understood that the Lord wanted to give me more. And so um, I didn't post it. I, I let it sit and lay until um, he showed me things. I did seek him in prayer a couple of times and said, Lord, you know, because I tried to share some other stuff as well um, to expand on that particular video. And it just did. It just was a it was an it was just a struggle to try and get it finished. And I just had to go to him in prayer and say, Lord, you know, why is it such a struggle and, and why am I not being allowed to do this at this time? And he told me there was something else he wanted to show me. And since that time, um, I have been in shock and awe. He has been confirming a lot of things that he has given me over the years, things that I, you know, I, things that we had to literally expand our brain on to try and understand, but he is now confirming a lot of it. And so, um, and so I want to go ahead and bring this particular video forth first. I think it is a very important one. It is one that I really need for you to seek the Lord on uh, in regards to, um, to moving forward with what I'm getting ready to tell you. So now, while I was waiting on the Lord um, to, uh, to show me something, I wasn't sure if I was going to experience it or if he was actually going to show me something in scripture or if he was going to show me something, you know, or what have you. But he led me uh, into researching um, uh, the Lord and the, the, his disciples when, um, when he was on earth. He led me to go all the way back to find out, um, you know, what was going on with them. Now, sometime back, I did some uh, study in regards to that, and I understood that um, Jesus was called the Nazarene. And I understood also, too, that his disciples were called the Nazarenes. And so um, I think I made mention of that in, um, in one other video. I may have even shown you that, but you guys can go back and take a look at some of that. Um, but when I continued to dig into that, I also saw that they were connected to... Um, they were connected in, in the way that they walked and what they did to several other um, uh, people, um, groups of people. The Ebionites, the Ebionites and the Nazarenes seem to be connected, some type of a grouping of people um, and what their beliefs were. And then also the Essenes. Um, there seems to be some type of um, a grouping of people to where part of what uh, one grouping was doing, he was doing, and there the disciples were doing, and then part of another, um, the disciples and Jesus were doing, and then part of another. And so it's very interesting because when I went through to start looking at this, recall in the last video that I was being brought back to the no meat, the no yeast, the no alcohol, and I was talking to you all about that. And um, and I said, you know, I, I, the Lord is bringing this back up to me again. Now, he gave me all of that information last year, if not two years ago. And um, when I had questioned him in regards to, Lord, what else can I do in my walk? He told me no meat. OK, I didn't understand that, you know, how long it needed to be or or what needed to happen with it. But I am now understanding that that is a lifestyle change that needs to happen. Um, when he gave me the dream about my mother-in-law and there was an alcohol uh, bottle that she was trying to hide and then once she got rid of it, she was dancing before the Lord. Um, 
so we understood then at that time, and we made a video on that, that we needed to lay down um, the alcohol that needed to be laid down. And then also um, a couple of years back, re recall that I had just was praying on a Sunday morning, you know, Lord, what can I fix my family for Sunday dinner today? You know, I had, I had people coming over to the house and what have you. And he told me, no yeast, it's Passover. Now, in, in my day and time, and according to the Gregorian calendar, it was not Passover. It was somewhere around August. And, um, and so we were trying to determine was this, were the calendars off, what was going on with that, and what have you. But I, I truly believe that it is, um, I truly believe that it is linking back in with the diet. So now we have no meat, no alcohol, and no yeast. These are the three things that seem to be um, what I have been told in the past. So when I was going back and looking into the history of these people, these three groupings of people, I can see that many of them walked in that particular way. They walked with um, not eating any meat, uh, no birds, no fish, no flesh meats, nothing. Um, they had no strong drink. We know about John the Baptist. It says that he ate no meat and he drank no strong drink. Um, a lot of people will say, well, yeah, well, he ate locusts and what have you. But this, the study that I have been on and what I have found is he ate the fruit of the locust tree. He didn't eat the locusts. Okay. So, um, so we're finding now that some of the information that the Lord has led me into and showing me where to look to find some of the documents that have not been tainted. Uh, recall that I was searching for documents that have not been altered so that we could get the true truth of what was going on. Back when he told me about the Orthodox and the North and the South and the way the Catholic Church split the same time around Constantine and we found out how things were altered in our Bible. Okay, so, um, so I have found, he has led me to some information where I have found um, stuff that has supposedly not been tainted. Okay, and as I'm going through reading this, I am, I am, ever since I opened it and started reading it, I, it has been one confirmation after another, after another, after another. Um, if you'll give me one second and I will pull up to tell you, I made a note, um, I made a note for myself because I needed to go ahead and put this out to where I can tell you what all has been confirmed so far. And I'm only just starting what I'm doing. But um, what I am reading, okay, has confirmed many things. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, then a lot of this might, might trigger your memory. And you may even want to go back and take a look at some of these videos because years ago he gave me this information and I didn't know what he was talking about. It's now being confirmed. Okay. Um, what I have been led to and have been reading has confirmed Miriam. Okay, recall, recall the video where he gave me the dreams about Miriam. He was trying to pour, and I thought it was Noah's sister. It was not Noah's sister. And then a lot of people were saying, well, it must be Mary Magdalene. It is not Mary Magdalene. However, it is a Miriam. If you want to go back and take a look at that, that video will tell you that the Lord was trying to point me to Miriam. Okay. What I have found does confirm what he told me about Miriam. It does confirm what he told me about Anna. Okay. Anna. We thought it was the prophet that was identified in the Bible. Okay. It still could be. However, it is a lot more clear in what I'm getting ready to give to you to read. Okay. It shows the two births, the two different births. Okay. Remember that Jesus said you must be born again. Okay, and he identified the two births. It shows what that is. It shows the fatherhood and the motherhood of not only John the Baptist, but Jesus as well. Okay, very important information. A lot of people are, you know, they're all saying, well, how can the Holy Spirit be female if, you know, if, if, if that came down to impregnate Mary and da-da-da-da-da? Guys, the answers are here, and they're right in front of you. So it does show the motherhood and the fatherhood, of the Lord Jesus okay it shows no meat it talks about that it talks about no strong drink no alcohol okay um, in one of those sects it talks about not even having any grains that could possibly produce yeast 
Now, guys, I'm going to tell you, when I saw that, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Uh, all this time, the Lord has been trying to tell us, okay? Um, it can, it, it, you know what it also showed me? It showed me the family of God, which we, we were just doing some of those videos, remember? It showed where we talked about, um, about four, we talked about father, mother, son, and daughter. Do you remember those videos? Okay, it's confirming it here too. It is talking about the son and the daughter, okay? I also now understand why all of creation is longing for the sons of God to come to be. I now understand why all of creation is longing for the sons of God, okay? I understand that my, the Lord is opening my eyes to that, to where I can see that. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. All right. And I also understand why the Lord told me last year. Okay. Or two years ago or whenever I was off of that meet. Okay. He told me I had passed from death to life. And I couldn't understand it. I didn't know what the Lord was saying because I was, I had already received, I had already accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I had said the prayer. I had already been baptized. I had been filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, I had, I was hearing him. I was receiving dreams. I was receiving visions. I was talking with him and conversing with him. But yet he told me at that time, okay, I had only then passed from death until life. And I didn't understand what he was talking to me about. What are you talking about? And I couldn't get a whole lot of clarity. I understand now. Okay? I understand now. Okay. So, guys, I'm here to tell you, and I want to point you to a particular uh, document. It is, it is called the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. It is called the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Um, I just bought this particular book through the Dodo Press because it was the cheapest document that had been unaltered um, that I could find online. However, you can find it free online. And I will provide you a couple of links and you guys can start going through and looking at it yourself. This is where the Lord led me. Okay? Now, with that, I want to say this. When you read this, okay, you can read it one of two ways, okay? You can read it as a historical document as you would read scriptures in the Bible. You can. Or you should read it as what is going on in your life right now, okay? What is hidden in there? What is the spiritual truth that's being try, trying to be shown to you, okay? Because the actual story is a veil, all right? Um, the actual story is a veil. So if you're seeing, um, you know, Peter Rabbit jumped over the bush, then, you know, then you can see, all right, well, that's the story, but that's the veil. What's, what's hidden in between? Okay. So that's what I want you to do is I want you to look at it. You can look at it historically if you want to. It's very interesting to read it even that way. Um, but I want you to slow down. Once you do read it, go back and take a look at it and say, okay, Lord, what hidden truths are in here and what is it that I need to see and know and understand? So guys, this is what I've been working on. I apologize for not coming back and doing a video, but guys, I'm telling you, there, there is nothing more important right now in your life than to seek the Lord on what I am just telling you, okay? Um, please understand what I am trying to tell you. Take the time to see if he leads you to the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. It is also called the Diadect, okay? It is also call, called the Diadect. So you can take a look at it. It talks about there are two ways, one of life and one of death. Please heed what I'm trying to tell you, okay? Please heed what I'm trying to tell you. Um, it's very, very important. Okay. So I think I'm going to leave this video here. I'm going to go ahead and provide the links I need for you to seek him, please, on your diet. See where he leads you. See what, you know, if if it's for you at this time, please, I need for you to seek him, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I'm going to go ahead and provide the links for you. Um, and then I want to show you some things that he was already telling me. But he needed to confirm for me first, okay? Because there is so much truth in this document, 
um, you guys, you're going to be blown away, really. You truly are. So, guys, thank you for coming back to another video. God bless you all. Stay under his wing and seek him, guys, with all your heart. This is important. God bless you all.